subscribe to James and Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. What's going on guys, Dream Shooter sure bring you another video and for this one I'll be doing my weekly bad movie Friday and for this Friday's bad movie I did the movie called Pass Through by Neil Breen and as promised we're going through all the Neil Breen movies and um, I just want to say at the time of posting this it will have just been over a month that I have been in quarantine and uh, yeah I just want to say that so um Let's jump right into the IMDb and then I'll talk about the story and what my thoughts are about it. So, um, yeah, so, um, the IMDb has a 5 out of 10 stars, which is one of the higher ratings from Neil Breen. It came out in 2016, and again, it was directed by Neil Breen, <laughs> written by Neil Breen, and the star is Neil Breen. And, uh, let's jump down to the budget for the, I don't think there is a budget. Oh, there is no budget for this movie. Oh, excuse me. So, um. Yeah, this movie, um, I kind of liked um, Faithful Findings and the other one we watched a little better than this one. Um, Faithful Findings and the one with the, the twin brother. I forget the name of the movie right now, but uh, I kind of like that one better than this one. This one was kind of like watching it and like having like a fever dream at the same time. Like, uh, there are these two girls that claim to be aunt and niece, and the one that's the aunt is like the same age as the one of, that's supposed to be the niece. When you see the clips that I pick out like you'll you'll understand but uh what you'll you'll see what i mean but um yeah um again this is just another neil breen movie and uh, i think we only have like two left after this one for neil breen movies but um yeah again this is one of the ones that i didn't think were the better ones like i so far my favorite one's the one with him playing himself as the twin um but yeah again uh it was okay like in the story he uh he plays like an AI from like the, a, like he's like an alien AI from like, the, I don't think it's the future. He's like from another world. He, uh, alien AI pretty much is what I'm trying to say. He plays an alien AI from a, like a different world, comes to earth, tries to rid the earth of um all of its evil people. And then he comes across these two girls, like I was saying earlier. And um he takes them with him when he leaves. So uh, that's pretty much the story. But uh I think this is like a, three out of five on my end like it doesn't start off like a normal neil breen movie like all the stock footage that he normally uses for his movies it starts off with other people not just him so yeah like again like it, it's it's like a f having a fever dream while watching it, 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 it it's pretty much having a fever dream when you watch this movie so um i guess with that i will go ahead and just show you guys the uh clips that i best think represents this movie so um yeah I will be right back after that, everybody. See y'all in a minute. What's the source? How strong is that signal? Let me see, let me see. I'm following it. I lost it. Clean this smuggler rival area so the border patrol doesn't know where we're at. Here's your pay. So yeah, those are the scenes that I best thought represented this movie. And again, um, it is really like watching, it, it really is like having a fever dream while watching this. That's that's what I really wanted to say at the beginning of this video. But um, there is what like two stories that I missed. There's a uh, like a story with the drug cartel that's in this, that, like I said, where he gets rid of all the bad people. Like they like, all vanish at the end. Like that's one of his powers that he has. Neil Breen has powers in this. Because again, he does say he is an AI from another world. So I, uh, yeah, and um, 
I could not find a scene with the sisters, but with the uh, aunt and niece. So uh, yeah, um, and there is a with the kids that you saw that I showed the one clip. Um, they're they're supposed to be like astronomers, I think, because they don't exactly say they're astronomers. Because there's like this old guy that's in a bed the entire movie, and he like calls these kids every now and then. And they give them like science updates and they take him to see a little brain towards the end of the movie so yeah i think he's like their teacher or like something because they don't again they don't really say what they are or what they're doing and in the scene the laptops aren't even on like in the faithful findings when the he's working on his laptops none of them are ever on i don't think in any of his movies the laptops are like ever really on but uh yeah again this is definitely like watching a uh, fever dream, unlike the other two movies. That's probably why it's. I gave it a three out of five stars. So, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much my final thoughts on um, this movie here. And uh, with that, um, let's see what I have in store for next week's Bad Movie Friday. I'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Shark 804, The Awakening. So, um, yeah, the fourth Sharknado movie. We're going through all the Sharknados, like I've said, I was going to do with all the Neil Breen movies. And this is the fourth one, and I believe there are two more after that. So, um, yeah, next week's going to be Sharknado 4. And, uh, yeah. Um, so I hope you all are doing good under quarantine, and, uh, um, hopefully it's, it'll end soon. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, and if you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe for more. This is James saying, I'll let Brandon Rogers say from here. Peace. I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Right. Um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy. And he is super cool for coming to the shop. I'm glad I got to meet him in person. And you should subscribe.